Let me greet all of you here tonight. My colleagues who are here, my dear brother, Johnson Drago, who is our candidate in the Castlebrook constituency, and all the wonderful supporters and well-wishers of the Dominica Labour Party. Ladies and gentlemen, when we planned this campaign several months ago, our plan for this evening was to host what we termed the mother of all motorcades on this final day of the campaign. I am happy and humbled to report to you this evening that the police, the mommies and the grannies have all reported that this has been the largest motorcade in the history of Dominica. I was told that an old man from Wesley asked whether we borrowed vehicles from Guadeloupe and Martinique. So this is a wonderful note to which to end this 2000 general elections campaign. Last evening in Rosa Central, we hosted the largest crowd in the history of the new Windsor Park Stadium. Two Fridays ago, we hosted the largest gospel concert in the history of Dominica. All this has given me the confidence to proclaim this evening that come tomorrow, we shall record the largest margin of victory in the history of Dominican politics. I do not know how many seats we shall win and do not know what percentage of the votes we shall get. But I am satisfied this evening that the Dominica Labour Party will be returned to office tomorrow evening. With a commanding majority of the seats in the new parliament. Comrades and friends, this election campaign has served to highlight the fundamental differences between the two parties that have entered the candidates. In every department of this campaign, Labour has outshone and outperformed the opponent. Indeed, we have had reason on several occasions to wonder whether they were still actively involved in the campaign. I want voters who are still undecided tonight to consider the many errors Lennox Linton and the UWP made in this campaign. And to ask yourselves whether we can seriously risk such an incompetent bunch of individuals in government at this time. They bungled the launch of the campaign. They bungled the production and launch of their manifesto. They bungled their response to news of phantom flight of Labour Party supporters. Thanks heaven, they bungled their attempt to burn down and close the Douglas Charles Airport. They bungled their responses in social media. They bungled attempt to force a secret deal with Taiwan. They bungled the placement of a meeting in West last night and they bungled the attempt to get in the way of Labour's motorcade today. Everything that Lennox Linton and the UWP attempted to do in this campaign turned out to be a disaster. This is a serious omen, ladies and gentlemen. It tells you clearly what would happen were they to form the government of Dominica come Tuesday morning? So ladies and gentlemen, 
We have run the race and we have finished the course. Tomorrow is when we send the message to the United Workers Party in clear. In clear and uncomplicated language that we do not trust them to lead this country and we certainly do not trust our future in the hands of Lennox Linton. Comrades and friends, I know many of you are eager to vote. I know there will be a race tomorrow morning to see who gets to the polling stations first and who casts the votes first for the candidates of the Dominica Labour Party. But while I want you to rush to the polls, I want you to take your time and vote. Move, move your pencil to the center of the little box and make your X next to the shoe. Do not, do not touch the line. Make it large enough to be seen, but small enough not to touch any of the lines. Don't worry about the spelling of the candidate's name. Just look for the shoe. You wear shoes every day. Look for the shoe and put your ex next to the shoe. In the box, across from the shoe, ladies and gentlemen. Now, those of you who one full month after this campaign was launched are still undecided as to whether you will vote tomorrow. I want you to understand this evening that your not voting is a help to the United Workers Party. Look around you carefully and you will see that the UWP's base is still active. They know they're losing, but they're still doing what they have to do in the name of their party. I have not met a single UWP supporter who is comfortable with Lennox Linton as Prime Minister in waiting, but yet they are determined to vote. I want you to understand that your not voting tomorrow is an act of aggression against the Labour Party and an embrace of the United Workers Party. The UWP comes, the UWP does not want labor rights or labor leaning voters to vote. In marginal areas, they have calculated that if they can get out their vote and they can encourage as many labor rights as possible not to vote, they can win a couple seats. I am saying to labor supporters this evening that not voting is a serious act of malice against your country. Dominica deserves better than Lennox Linton. Dominica, Dominica deserves better than the group of underachievers the UWP has offered this country as an alternative. Whether you're concerned about whatever your concern about labor or your power reps, I ask you tonight to set aside and let's get the party that you love back in office. I have said to you, I will put systems in place to ensure that power reps are more wedded to the people and the constituencies the next time around. Being vexed, being vexed is not a reason or an excuse to stay at your home or to spoil your ballot. Voting tomorrow is greater than you or me, ladies and gentlemen. Voting tomorrow is about preserving this country of ours and keeping it on the right track. Voting tomorrow is about preventing an angry incompetent, untrained, and unsuitable Lennox Linton from grabbing power in Dominica.
and destroying this country. We have told you, we have told you in detail where we shall get every cent to finance the various projects we have outlined in our manifesto and from this platform over the past few weeks. You know you can trust labor to deliver. You know if I tell you I have the money, that I have the money. You know if I tell you that we have the projects, we have the projects. Let no one be in doubt, ladies and gentlemen. Once labor wins this election tomorrow evening, every child in this country will go to school next term with a tablet in his hands. Once labor wins, once labor wins these elections tomorrow and trade unions accept the 5% salary increase, back pay shall be paid by the 15th of December. Once we win, once we win election tomorrow, construction will start on the new general hospital, the multi-purpose sports facility. And the Rosso enhancement project within the next few months. Once we win this election tomorrow, we will see the start of work on a new international airport. These are not pie in the sky promises Ladies and gentlemen, we have the designs and we have the financing. We are merely waiting for the mandate from you tomorrow to get the projects started. So ladies and gentlemen, these elections tomorrow are crucial. Do not worry about how many seats we shall win. We won 18 last time around and we did not abuse our power. You therefore, ladies and gentlemen, can trust us with all 21 seats. Do not be afraid to give us the power. You focus on voting in a constituency and make sure that your power rep is among those sitting on the government side in the new parliament. Do not make the error of leaving your power rep. Do not make the error of leaving your power rep down. Do not move from being represented in government to being represented in opposition. Labor will win tomorrow. And I want to make sure and I want to make sure that all the seats we had in the last parliament plus more are returned to labor next time around. So ladies and gentlemen, the campaign is winding down and I want you to focus on voting tomorrow. I want you to take your time and drive home safely. Please drive home safely. There is no need to race. There is no need to speed. Do not worry about the other side. They are looking for trouble. Ignore them as you make your way home this evening. Go home and get a good night's rest. Those of you who are working in whatever capacity in this election tomorrow, I want you to go home and memorize what it is you have been told you have to do and how you have to do it. Those of you who will be voting, I want you to be patient. 
leave home to vote for the Dominica Labour Party and do not let and do not let anything or anyone prevent you from casting your vote for the Dominica Labour Party and placing your ex next to the shoe tomorrow tomorrow is the beginning of a new era in the evolution of Dominica tomorrow is when we commence the harvest of the crops we planted since 2000 tomorrow is the dawn of the new era in parliamentary representation in Dominica I give you the assurance this evening that you, should, that you shall see more of your power reps over the next five years you shall hear more from your power reps over the next five years you shall benefit more from the actions of your power reps over the next five years I urge you tonight Ladies and gentlemen, let go of whatever is holding you back. Whatever is preventing you from making up your mind to vote Labour, let it go and tell the devil to get behind you, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you for all, I thank you all for making this an awesome campaign. I thank all the planners and all the operatives. I thank all those who worked during this campaign. I assure each and every one of you that your labor shall not be in vain. Labor will take care of its people this time around. I am dedicating, I am dedicating this fourth term to those who have labored in the vineyard. And I can tell you, I have recorded in my mind all of your faces that I've seen night day, night to night coming to the rallies go to the polls tomorrow and vote for the dominican labor party and leave the rest to me your humble servant <laughs> ladies and gentlemen I know some of you have been amazed by the massive motorcade. I know some of you are overwhelmed by this massive and historic motorcade. I do not want you to go home saying that labor has won and you go sleeping all day tomorrow. You have to vote tomorrow. Every person registered must vote and put your ex next to the shoe every vote is important and i want every single vote in this country ladies and gentlemen may god may god bless and guide you all may god take you home safely may god watch over the conduct of our elections tomorrow and may this country be blessed with five more years of peace, progress, and prosperity. My dear Dominicans, my dear Dominicans, the future, the future of our beloved country is in your hands. The future of our beloved country is in your hands. I want to thank you very much for the show of support and solidarity. And to say to you, and to say to you 
that I will never forget you, the people of Dominica. I will never forget you who turned out every night and every day to support the Dominica Labour Party. I, I will not forget you, my dear friends. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we have come, we have come to the end of campaign 2014. I am heading home now. I want you to head home also. And let us go back home. Let us drive safely. Let us get some rest. And let us go out to vote. We have enjoyed ourselves over the last 32 days. And I have no doubt that you enjoyed yourself today. So, I want you, I want you to listen to me tonight. And let us, let us board our vehicles and head back home to get a rest. May God bless you all. May God bless our beautiful country, Dominica. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. Thank you.